Hey everybody. So today the project that I'm working on is a shoe rack for my wife. Now it's actually going to be horizontal, not vertical like we're looking at right here. Um, but every seven and a half inches, I'm gonna have a divider for a separate piece of shoes or <laughs> for a separate set of shoes, I'm sorry. And that meant that I needed to cut a whole bunch of grooves in a couple of different pieces of plywood. And a groove in woodworking is called a dado. This is a dado, if it actually uh, occurs at the end of the workpiece and it doesn't have a shoulder on one side, that's called a rabbit. So that's basically the difference between a rabbit and a dado. Two shoulders, one shoulder. All right, so now that we've got the terminology out of the way here, I wanna talk about how, that was a fly, my apologies. I wanna talk about how I do dados. Now, there's a bunch of different way you can cut a dado. You can do it with a table saw or a router table, which is actually what we're looking at right here. My table saw covered with rat crap and my router table, which is a side table, uh, built onto my table saw, that's also covered in crap. So I'm not gonna be using those, and I, I normally wouldn't, even if this was thing was perfectly clean. Um, I just don't have the space and the flexibility with either one of these tools to uh, cut large pieces of wood like this. So I usually end up going with a uh, handheld solution to the problem. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna use hand tools, it just means I'm going to use my handheld router setup. All right? So basically when you're going to uh, try and cut dados with a handheld router, you need some kind of a fence. Let's just find a piece of wood here for an example. That'll work. You would set up a fence that's far enough away from the, uh, from the router such that your router bit perfectly aligns into that groove where you want to cut. Now, that's not always an easy thing to set up. It has to be perfectly aligned on both sides, and you'd have to do some math and know exactly the cutting diameter of your router bit, and it can actually be kind of difficult to get these cuts set up. So I kind of made a uh, another solution to this problem. Now, if you follow my videos, you might have seen a video where I created a measuring block for my uh, for my handheld router, and you might have seen another video where I created a measuring block for my uh, for my um, circular saw. There's that. Um, anyway, basically, what this does is it registers perfectly the width from the edge of my router to the edge of the blade when it's spinning and to the other edge of the blade when it's spinning okay so i can use this block to set up my uh to set up my fence to make that cut perfectly okay so if i know where that cut needs to stop and start and stop all i need to do is use this measuring block line it up clamp my fence down and i'm in business okay now i've expanded on that a little bit basically by doing the same thing i created a measuring block but I put a 90 degree fence on that measuring block. So what I can now do is line this fence up with my cut, clamp it down and go to town. And I can just keep doing that over and over and over again with all these sets of lines. And I can uh, essentially, I can route all these dados and never really have to measure anything for the router itself. I have to have the cuts marked ahead of time, but then I can just go down through here, slide the fence into place, slide the fence into place, slide the fence into place, and bam, I'm done. Okay? So, so I don't think I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these fences to show you how to do it, but it's pretty darn simple. Basically, all you need is two very straight pieces of wood. Now, the first piece I have here is a an offcut of this uh, maple veneer plywood that I'm using, and that needs to be uh, fairly long, long enough that you've got a good long fence to ride against your workpiece to keep everything straight, okay? Um, then you need another very straight piece of wood that's going to be tall enough that your router can rest against it and not jump up and go over the fence and screw your cut all up. So basically, what I have here is an inch thick piece of white pine um, that I uh, planed and uh, jointed ahead of time, so I know this is perfectly straight. Now, you can get that straight line any way you want, I don't care, but it, both of these lines need to be very straight. Now, when you wanna go gluing and screwing them together, 
you're going to need you're going to need a square to verify the straightness of your angle here. You want to have this exactly 90 degrees. It's very important. Otherwise, when you get to the end of your cut, you're going to be off. And depending on how long the cut is, that could be a little bit or it could be a lot. OK, so you want to have this as close to perfect as possible. Um, basically, I just glued and screwed it together. Nothing special there. Then after I did that, I used the same concept as I did with my original router measuring block and I just clamped this fence down and I ran the router itself right along the fence to make that groove. And now that I have that groove in my fence, all I need to do is line the groove up with my cut marks and I can go to town. All right, so why don't we go ahead and cut out these dados so I can give you an example of how this works. Now, my line's a little bit choppy there, not gonna lie about that. Um, I think that has to do with uh, my blade more than anything. So, that's good, I can clean that up later with a little bit of light sanding. <sighs> Off to the next one. right there um, you know I don't think it would take me a whole lot uh, actually it would probably take me more time on my table saw or my uh, my router table to do this because I would have to measure and move the fence every single cut it would be absolutely insane to do it that way it would have taken me several times longer I'm sure and uh, you know as they say it's uh, actually better when you're doing woodworking to uh, measure less if you can um, measure off of a fence, measure off of a stop block, so your cuts are repeatable, that's always better. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're using a fence with this pre-made groove to uh, measure and go off of every time. So each time we do it, it's going to be a repeatable result. And I think the results are awesome. So, all right, I hope that helps you guys. It's another way you can make your, uh, your router far more usable and uh, spend zero dollars doing it. So, okay. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.